what's good youtube welcome back to show you how and guys today what i'm going to be doing is showing you how to fix your ps4 error ce 3005-8 in 2019 okay so for you guys that are having the problem and you have disc what you want to do is go ahead and just take your disc out right now if you don't have it out and what you could do is you could get some alcohol okay and you could begin to wipe this portion um this whole part of your disc off to make sure it's clean because this could be the cause of your error on your ps4 so just make sure you go ahead and do that clean it off and if you don't have pack all you can just use water but once you do that you just want to um let it air dry so you can just sit right there on your playstation and you can just let it air dry like that but if that doesn't help let's go to the next method okay so for this next part this is both for the people who have the games downloaded and for the people who have the games um on disc okay so what you need to do is make sure your playstation is already on right now and once it's fully on what you must do is hold your PS4 um, button until you hear two beeps. So you're going to hear one, and then you're going to hear the second one, and just wait. Once you hear the second one, that's when you want to let go. What we're doing now is you're just trying to put our PS4 in safe mode because we need to put it in safe mode in order to rebuild the database. So just be patient. You see it's going off right now? So just be patient. Once the light starts blinking, that's when you know that it's fully off and... I'll show you what to do next. <clears throat> okay, so it's fully off now, and the next thing you want to hold the power button down and see you hear two beeps. So, one, and then when you hear the second one, you can let go. And let go now. You should see safe mode on your screen right now. Okay, so now what you need in order to use the safe mode, you need your controller and you need your charger. So just make sure you have your charger plugged in and go ahead and insert your cable into your PS4 controller. And as I press this PS button on my on the controller, it should bring up a menu just like that. And you see um, rebuild database. So just go down to that right now and click X just like that and go over and click OK. And it should not take as long as it says on the screen. It should only take about two minutes at the, um, at the max. It usually takes that amount of time, most of the time. So just be patient and you'll see your PS4 doing what it usually does. Okay. All right, so now, so now it is beginning to rebuild the database right now. You see it's not even taking that long. It's only taking about, it only took about a minute or so, a minute and a few seconds. So just like I said, be patient and it should be done in just a few more seconds as you see on the screen right now. Okay. All right, so now it has finished, and once it's finished, you want to go ahead and try the game out, whatever game you have. You want to go ahead and insert that disc you had, either insert the disc, or either go to, hold on, either you want to go to a game that wasn't um, loading before, it was showing the error. So whichever game that was showing the error before, try it out, and if it doesn't work, just stay on this video, and I have one more method for you guys that, um, that downloaded the game onto your PS4. All right, so this next method will require you to delete your actual game, but don't worry because you still can um, save your storage. So you must have PlayStation Plus in order to save your storage though. Or you could upload the, um, the game to a USB drive if you would like to do that, the um, information from that game. But in order to save that storage information, what you need to do is go to application, save data management, and you will need to go to save data in online storage or like I said, you can use USB storage device if you have a USB that could hold that um, amount of gigabytes in your system or however, however much the game is. Okay, so that is what you need to do and then you just go to the game that you have downloaded. So let's say for instance, I want to delete this. What you have to do is just click the options right here. I don't know if you can see that, but click options and that should bring up that menu and just go ahead and press delete but i'm not going to delete my game right now because i don't it's not the actual game that was acting up but just click delete and reinstall that game and just re-upload your information onto the ps4 from online storage or from the usb device 
and that should work for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you get notified for every video on my channel. And some of your friends may be having this error, so go ahead and share this video with your friends so they can go ahead and finally fix this error that keeps constantly happening every single time that they try to um, start a game or run a game. So yeah, that's pretty much it and we'll be back to show you have told me it was never gonna end i'm at the top never descend calling my name is going go to my freestyles be fluent look at the girl she be front and won't come back till i throw some hundreds throw the racks and i tell her